Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in and welcome back once again to the channel. It's always a pleasure and honor to have you to stop by and check out what we have to say on Mr. J's reaction. And uh, if this is your first time stopping by, I just want to let you know that uh, on this platform, on this channel, we are proudly Motherland. You feel me? And uh, we do talk about everything coming out of Motherland, music, entertainment, politics, lifestyle, and everything you want to know about Motherland. And uh, before we do get started, uh, I would like you to be part of the family. Think about joining and think about hitting that subscribe button and uh, we move from there. I hope you guys are doing good. So ladies and gentlemen, um, today I want us to talk about something interesting and uh, a fan reached out to me and uh, they sent me a link to an audio of uh, uh, a fellow African sister. She's actually from, from Nigeria and uh, in this audio, you could hear the sister planning and plotting evil against people from Nigeria. Well, she was plotting against people from Yoruba and Benin. So, um, it just goes to tell you that uh, sometimes, like I've always said on this platform, that Africans, we are our own problems. We are genuinely our own enemies. You feel me? And uh, I, will, I will let you guys listen to the audio, but before I do, I want to let you know two things. First things, the time when it gets to a point where Africans can start loving themselves, Africa is going to grow exponentially. Number two, you have to be very, very careful what you say online. Sometimes people come online and, and, and prove that they have this this bigger than life personality, but that might be a downfall. Let's not talk too much. I want you to listen to this. Father, yeah, record me very, very well. Record exactly. me. We are going Fine. to give the word to time me. to start poisoning the Yoruba and the Benin. Put poison for all Una food for work. Put poison for Una water. Make Una de pie. One by one, una go, una, una go buy one day. Una go sick, 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 sick. I go put a tap pia pia for inside for, for Yoruba people food. Go tell government. Oh yeah, I did Canada, I did Ontario. Oh yeah, hurry up, hurry fast, fast. I go put a tap pia pia. I go put a uh, bomb shot, everything for inside una food. Una go they hear small small. Yoruba don't die, yo. Bini dog pay me. Una go they hear and let me talk up. I want making the people get that heart of wickedness. Tell all these people with Bini Oba picture, make them see that, make them go find job hey. to say we're not ready for their nonsense. I, 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 well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you guys heard, and uh, as a son of Africa, I keep asking myself, why is it that when a brother or a sister moves out of Africa and they settle somewhere, they think that they have beaten, like they have risen above the Africanness. What do I mean by that? In Africa, uh, we know that uh, we are raised by a community. Yes, every African child will tell you that uh, he was disciplined not just by their parents, but by the community. And, uh, and what the community instills in you is definitely what we are hearing from this sister. Apparently, this sister's name is Patience, and uh, she lives in Canada. And as you guys can see, man, they had a, a group call, you know, and uh, it so happens that uh, from the comments, you can see that it's actually uh, this whole Biafra movement that has been going on. And uh, nobody is saying that people do not have the right to, to, to protest and manifest the way they want to, you know. But when you guys hold meetings, <clears throat> and these are the types of 
voice messages and voice notes that you messages that you guys share it becomes questionable apparently this sister is she is so enraged and she has this dark evilness in her heart against the Yorubas and the Benins. Now, Yoruba land and Benin is, uh, is you know, is, is, a, is a clan, or it's a tribe uh, for in, in Nigeria. <clears throat> you know, Nigeria is a very big country and it's made up of different ethnic groups. This sister apparently is promising that she was going to poison them. Now, this is a message to every Nigerian uh, in Canada. Please, you need to be very careful. These folks are holding these meetings and we have heard in the US of, of Africans poisoning Africans. I think a year ago, uh, a Nigerian couple, they were poisoned by another fellow Nigerian couple. So you need to be very careful. But let's come back to this sister's whole concept of uh, she's promising that she's going to poison and kill people from Yoruba and Benin, you know, just so that they can achieve their statehood of, you know, the Biafra land. And uh, it's, it's sad because uh, you can definitely feel the severity and sincerity in her voice. She is not playing. This is a threat to everybody that lives in Canada, every Nigerian citizen. It doesn't matter if you are from Yoruba or you are from Benin, but it is a threat specifically for the Yorubas and the Benins in Canada. And to me, I, I hope that you people have a union in Canada where you guys can bring this up and you can actually take this to the police. Well, uh, you know, let's talk about this whole hate thing that goes on in between us from the motherland like i've said before on this platform it doesn't matter what part of motherland you are from i consider you my brother and sister if language is a barrier we are going to make up to it somehow and to think that for the recent for the couple of days we've had this hate between uh, south africans and, and nigerians and back in the day we've had the Ghanaians versus the nigerians the cameroonians versus the niger it is always something in between us africans that it's it's really killing that unity spirit we keep dreaming of the day where africa is going to be united africa is going to be one we are going to stand for one purpose one army one system of understanding ourselves but you see these type of children of africa who go out and think that oh, they are above the african nature and then they start posting things like this on social media now this voice on social media unfortunately for her i didn't think that she thought it was going to spread this much and guess what has happened Man, the House of Representatives in Nigeria, they actually contacted the High Commissioner of Canada in Nigeria to point out this lady's issue. In another voice, she said that she is a Canadian citizen. Well, let me just bust your bubble as maybe you are too dumb and too slow to understand. The fact that a country, a Western country, gives you citizenship doesn't mean that they cannot take it if you misbehave. And if the House of Representatives push harder, I see you losing your citizenship. I see you losing that Canadian citizenship that you so much think that you, you are both and everything. This is terrible. Is this the Africa that we want to build? We thought that when you go out of Africa, you, you will bring those values back at home and help develop the country. But you go out, you start planning on how you are going to kill your fellow. Forget about what tribe they are from because everybody knows that African countries, we have a whole lot of tribes. There's no one African country that has just one tribe. Every African country you go to, there are many ethnic groups in that country. This is the beauty of being African. Many ethnicities, one country. And there you have this type of bad seeds. Unfortunately, man, to the family who reached out to me and asked me to talk about this, my brother, I am very, very disappointed. This sister, she's not a kid. She has children. And if she has these feelings and these sentiments, how do you expect her kids to grow up hearing their mother saying this and acting like this? Man, do leave your comment and let us know exactly what you think. Do you think that this is something that should actually be said by somebody 
And do you think that the Canadian government needs to actually cancel her citizenship? I, for one, I do think that they should because this is inciting murder, genocide. This is crazy. That's my time. Do leave your comment, man. Let's keep talking and marveling. We need to be like this. We need to stop all this back and forth in between ourselves. Once you do that, man, the imperialists, they are laughing. Like, hey, look at them. They cannot even unify. And you guys think they will come against us? That's my time. Be good. Peace.